Hello folks and welcome. Linux Mint 21.3 Cinnamon is what I'm filming on today. Uh, you can use this uh, also for Linux Mint 22 and also LMDE 6. But uh, there's plenty of folks still running 21.3 and probably will be for the next uh, couple of years. Um, because uh, support doesn't end on that one. I think on, I want to say 2029. Let's go take a peek at that real quick. And um, I will go to all versions. I'm oh, sorry, it's uh, 2027. I thought it was 2029. 2029 for Wilma, 2027. In either case, this is 2024. So we got a couple of three years. Uh, today I'm going to talk about shortcuts. Um, shortcuts to your file uh, folder locations. Now I have a special feature turned on and I'll explain what that tilde symbol means. But uh, we need a couple things to turn on for this to show up in here. And then I'll also talk about some shortcuts in your file manager also. So just a quick video on tips like that. So this is generally made for new users, but certainly anyone is welcome to know these little tips. And I will say welcome filming in 1920 by 1080. Subscription key in the corner, 400 videos and growing. So um, when you open up your file manager and make something a favorite, uh, Mary is our user for today. It's just a made up name. I'm going to remove these things, uh, actually remove from favorites. And this is not to be confused with this category here called favorites. So if you're adding that billiard game, for instance, to your favorites, it's adding it to that mint menu in here in this case, or you can do it my way, which I do it this way, even on the panel bar. If you didn't know about those little tricks. All right, I'm going to unpin that and pull that out and just drop it. Linux Mint knows where that goes. So I have two of these turned off. So I got one more and I can actually see where the path is. All right, so I'll talk about this symbol in a second. I'm filming in 1920 by 1080. Some of you folks that are watching this on very small screens will not be able to see that. Adjust your YouTube player. Uh, it says tilde forward slash documents forward slash scripts. So it's, there's another star in here. There we go. Now, once I remove this one, this star will disappear and this whole category will be gone. If you did not know. Okay. I'm going to close the, now no more star here. That doesn't mean I deleted it. It just means it's turned off. It's what I call a smart icon. It only displays when necessary. And you'll find there's a couple more like this. So the category for favorites is also missing. So we can make anything a favorite. We can do um, documents folder. Maybe we'll do downloads and maybe pictures as three or folders, maybe a favorite. And then I'll also add that subfolder in here. I'll just make this one a favorite. Now over here, I have tilde forward slash downloads, tilde forward slash documents icon. What is all this tilde business? All right, I have a couple of keyboard layouts. I'm using US right now. So that symbol there, if you have ever wondered on your keyboard, it looks like a worm. Another way of looking at it, I'm gonna actually go to um, my documents folder with this way and open up the script folder, which is over here. And I'll just pull out one of these scripts that has a tilde symbol on it to let you see that up close. All right, the, the reason I write scripts this way is so I don't have to type in the full name of the user, like Mary's documents. Instead of that, I put a tilde there and forward slash documents. So I don't have to put in her home folder and Mary. And I can use this script or this command here on just about any system as far as the identification of what that is. So that means that Linux Mint also displays this for you if you use the full path, if you did not know. So there's where the tilde symbol comes in on your keyboard. Over here, you can right click and configure that in a standard format, which will be the way you have it. Okay, 
So if I make that a favorite, uh, that script folder, for instance, um, I'll add to the favorites. When I display it in this mode, this really can't, by looking at it, I can't tell the path. I can open that, sure, just like I did now. And that's the sole reason for all these. But if you'd like to display the path, it's right click on wherever this icon is. And sometimes, depending on your system, this icon will be in a different location. Okay, I'm gonna display the full path. That's what all that means. So that means that these are in subfolders, subdirectories, subfolders. All right. But more importantly, we get our favorites back online. A lot of people may go in here also to click these things. Then they'll open just the same way. Now that the file manager is open, let me talk about shortcuts in here. Did you know you can drag your folders in here? You have already some of them, the documents, music, pictures, videos, and downloads. But you can also drag custom folders. Let's take this My Junk, for instance. Put it over here. Now, if you see two lines, don't drop it. And be very careful. I've heard people go, what, what happened to my folder? Well, if you dropped it in there, you better go look in pictures. And maybe you do a cut and paste and move it back out. I'm doing a shortcut, which means one line and one line only. Drop it. Okay, it's called My Junk. This is just a shortcut. I'm pulling it out for a reason. So one line is what I'm doing here. And I'm not going to drop it like right on top of the desktop. I'm going to make sure that it's below it where you see these lines. These are shortcuts. Okay, two bars. No, one bar. Yes. If you ever wonder by you removing these does not remove the folder. However, if the folder disappeared, you dropped it probably right inside of one of these. So go look in there before you, um, you know, panic. This is just removing the shortcut. That's all these are. So we have shortcuts, we have favorites. When we have one or more favorites, these show up in here. And if you want to display the full path, right click on that star icon and configure it with that option. And don't forget, you need at least one or more for this category to show up. That's pretty much standard with all of these. It needs one or more icons. All right. Thank you for watching.